Hey guys, thought I'd put together a little video of uh, how I do my simple little pour-ups. Uh, what I have here is a completed wire bending stage retainer. Uh, as you can see, the wires are all half a millimeter off of the pallet. My wire bender guy is pretty good. And I'll be using JBC's turquoise. Also, I'll be putting a name in. Um, in the state of Texas, you have to put a name in your retainers. Uh, all the removable appliance ones. So, we put them on the inside. So, I put a little clear. Uh, what I'm using is the salt and pepper method. Take the name. I'm going to try to do this far away so you can't really see the name. And we just embed it in the acrylic. If you do this good enough, it won't poke through the bottom side. We started using this method of putting the name underneath the wires because we do a lot of designs here also. And so it was hard to do a design and put the name on top of the design. So I have sprinkled my powder and just slowly put the color on. I like to do pat it down my finger at least once. This helps get rid of air bubbles, helps compact the the polymer down. Sometimes you gotta wait and just let it soak up because the monomer will only soak up so much polymer and then it's done. Put a little bit here. It's a thin spot. I can see the model showing through. And then, what I like to do is do a little clear coat. Also just sprinkle powder on that side so it won't slump if it's too wet when you do this, it'll slump. So here we go again. Keep an eye out for the other side. Sometimes you'll have a lot more monomer in there than you think and the powder that you sprinkle on there will get wet when you're not looking and it'll start slumping on you. It's time for the clear coat. I like to use the clear coat on top. I think it shines up better. We use a splint acrylic. Um, and so the clear coat really does a good job of shining, getting real shiny. This is especially true when you use like uh, luminary polymers and stuff. They don't tend to shine up as well as these monomer ones. 
So it's just a habit for me to put a clear coat down it. And also it will save you uh, money in the long run. You don't have to keep using your monomer for the whole appliance. Just enough to put the color down and then use your cheaper clear polymers and monomers to uh, build up the rest of your appliance. Because most of this stuff I'll probably end up grinding off. One thing I do like to do, this helps in the trimming stages, I just remove the excess I feel safe removing. This has a little setup already. good enough, I'm not saying I'm good by any means, but when you get good enough, you can probably pour about, especially with the JVC acrylic, you can probably pour about two or three at a time, and uh, you're not going to get any uh, bubbles or porosity because of drying out, uh, but you can also lay it to the side and add monomer as you work on the, the other one. So, there you go. If you have any questions, just leave them below.